So what is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to what is on my Android phone for the month of July 2016. Now I told you guys earlier this month that I'll be getting into this but you know what? It took me a little bit of time because I had a little problem with the G4. The LG G4 had a defective camera unfortunately but we took care of that and we sent it back to LG and oh almost tripped and they sent it back to me and um yeah i got it fixed now so now i got the quick circle case on we're gonna check out what kind of apps i run on my android a little late here in july we will be doing this one in august as well what's on my android in august but let's find out what i got on my phone right now let's get into this and let's go All right, guys, so let me kick this off by talking about the LG Quick Circle Case. Now, this is an off-brand, or I would say LG G4 there. Uh, I decided to get this knockoff brand because it's a little bit cheaper, and, you know, I didn't really... I just was buying a whole bunch of accessories, and I actually wasn't really paying attention too much to that being an off-brand. But this does include wireless charging and NFC for mobile payment here on the G4. So the Quick Circle Case is basically, you know, the Quick Circle as it suggests, which allows you to switch out clocks. You can take pictures right from the case itself which is pretty awesome i think you have settings here you have download more call logs camera lg health messages and music now i want to apologize really quickly about any wind noise or any you know shaky camera i did not have um the tripod with me today but let me go ahead and open the device up here and you can see i do rock the gold camera theme here or not camera theme the gold theme from the lg smart world and I do have Twitter, Calculator, Quick Memo, Gallery, Clock, Contacts, YouTube, Calendar, Play Store, and Settings, as well as on the dock, I have Phone, Messages, Google Keep, Browser, Camera. And I want to shout out to one of the subscribers who told me about this LG V10, you know, video camera app. So if I go into the, you know, settings here, you can see you do have the ability to shoot in manual video here, which is pretty awesome if you ask me. So. You can see you can tweak the settings here for manual video. So if you're doing anything out here, like we are here in nature, and doing some video work or anything you want to do, that's an APK. You don't even have to be rooted or nothing like that to use that application. Now, the only thing I want to mention about that app is that it is just a little bit sucky because you cannot send your pictures to the, you know, the SD card. But that's basically my front apps. They're basic apps, but they're there because of the cool gold theme I think looks great with this case here. So when I open it up, I want to see all golds right there. And that's only when I'm rocking this case. When I'm not rocking this case, I don't rock out with the gold. So going to the second page, let's talk about what I have here. So I do have speed test there, and um, I do have financing there. That's my banks. You can, you know, you got your own banks. You probably got your own bank apps too. So let me go over here to Photoshop. And in my Photoshop app, I do have Pixlr and Lightroom, two quick edits that I like to use. Pretty great apps right there. And then over here in the social platform, I do have Instagram. Go follow me on there. And uh, Patreon, that's where you can become a patron of my channel and support the channel with a little donation. And you can get some more perks from me, like seeing behind the scenes mess ups and all kinds of, you know, video ideas that I keep to myself. But if you become a patron, you can go ahead and get some of those ideas yourself. But right here, I do have android central and uh, android central is a great news reading application for if you dig an android you just want to read some android news it's pretty great right there i do have lg g5 wallpapers now the reason i do have lg g5 wallpapers is because i think they're pretty sweet here so let me go into them and kind of just see what we're rocking out with here we're probably going to get an advertisement knowing these type of apps but let's go here and we didn't get one but you could see Right there, a bunch of nice G5 wallpapers I like to set up. They're not set right now because I do have the Audi TT as my background right there. You can see that's a sexy car from Germany made by Volkswagen. So I love that right there. I do have, you know, Nova Launcher here. Fujicate for when I want to check out prices of foods and things of that nature. Studio for replying to your guys' comments. Got to keep that app on all phones. You can see right here I do have, you know, some google stuff for when you know we got to check out that google stuff always want to have that google right there i do prefer android for the google services and that's why my sim card's in an android phone right now the lg g4 i do have evernote for more you know extensive note taking so when you're taking notes that are more you know difficult i would say you know it's going to take longer to you know get into them notes and 
you want to really get detail with your notes, that's when I use Evernote. But I use Google Keep for quick ideas. Greenify hibernates applications in the background because I found the G4 not to be the sexiest on battery life. It's uh, pretty decent, but um, it needs to be you know managed just a little bit to have great battery life on the G4. It's not the best in the world, but it's still worth it you know for what everything else you get with this phone. ADT Pause Home Security System. Yours might vary depending on your home security system if you have one. Headspace for you know quick meditation, 10 minutes, great application here. Ventro, that's basically a system, you know, C CTA. It's basically a transportation for Chicagoans. If you're if you're from Chicago, you know what I'm talking about. But there's a lot of apps like this depending on what city you're in. It's basically an app where you can load your bus card and stuff like that. So I do have Best Buy because I shop there quite frequently. We do have CC Cleaner to manage the device a little bit more. Groupon for you know shopping. I'm probably geek for tech news. Walmart, I don't know why Walmart's there, but maybe I had to check something when I was at Walmart or something, but blue light filter, foot tag camera is a great simple to use camera application, Zillow, and I was trying to get this Audi to fit right in the middle with wallpaper setter. I'm probably going to delete that later. Going to my app drawer, there's not much else. Everything you've seen on the home screen is pretty much in the app drawer, exclusion of PayPal. I didn't think I mentioned PayPal, but we all know what PayPal is, but that's pretty much what is on my LG g4 or my android phone for the month of july like i say a little bit late but no excuses we still got to get it done it's a year-long series here and uh that's pretty much it so what applications do you have on your android phone i would love to know share some of your ideas to help other people out it helps everybody out to have a better android experience and uh any other questions comments concerns you guys know what to do anyways have a great day wherever you are i know i am we're out here in nature chilling with the trees and vibing and uh i will catch you on the next one be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel for more and i will catch you all in the next one peace hey, no, no, no.